Hello everyone! Welcome to our presentation. Before we proceed to our proper discussion, let's watch this video clip together. I love coming to Barbados and spending time on the coast. But this time is different. I see less plants, more buildings, and the beach is smaller. What could go wrong if this keeps happening? Well, son, if these things continue, the beach could disappear. I'm doing my part to leave sand and plants on the beach. Let's do our part to keep the coastlines clean, safe, fun, and climate resilient. To protect our coast, the Coastal Zone Management Unit did some studies to make Barbados better at managing its coastal and marine resources while including disaster risk management and climate change adaptation. My coast, my home, my future. To find out more about how you can help, follow the Coastal Zone Management Unit on social media or visit www.coastal.gov.bb. Given the video that I presented earlier, our topic for today's lesson is all about coastal erosion and their global environmental issue. So without further ado, let's discover and learn new lessons. Okay, to give you an overview of our presentation, let's begin with the introduction followed by the causes, then the effects, then fourth, the possible solution or mitigation. Then the Philippine setting and the last one is the relevant images that we will present to you today. Before we discuss what is coastal erosion, let's discuss first what is coastline. So a coastline or seashore is the area where land meets the sea or ocean. Meaning, it is the line that is considered the boundary between sea and land. This is the common definition for coastline. And the example of a coast is a beach. Now that you have an idea about coastline, let's discuss now what is coastal erosion. So, coastal erosion is the loss of coastal lands or the wearing away of land or the removal of beaches due to wave action. Coastal erosion happens typically driven by the action of waves and currents, but also by mass wasting processes on slopes, particularly on muddy coasts. So that is the definition of coastal erosion. And this is an example of coastal erosion. As you can see in the video, it is typically driven by the action of waves, with that, it causes a way of land or being eroded by water due to wave currents. And that's what coastal erosion happens. These are the coastal affecting agents. And there are four. Wind, tide, wave, and currents. Now let us define the four coastal affecting agents. Let's start with the wind. So it is simply the movement of air and the waves are the result of the wind blowing over the sea as they approach land they break. And the third is the tide. It is a periodic rhythmic rise and fall of water along coastlines due to the gravitational tug of the sun and moon on the earth. And the currents is an indirect flow of water and energy caused by wind, water density differences, and water temperature differences. So these are the causes of coastal erosion. First is the temporal erosion and ongoing erosion. So it means that the changes in the sediment distribution under the influence of fluctuating forces it is fluctuation in water levels, wave climate, including storms. And ongoing trends of erosion or accretion are excluded. Ongoing erosion will finally lead to destruction or basic alteration of the coastal sediment cell. 
and the other one is the longshore sand loss due to transport regions. So it happens that it increase of sand transport. In this case, more sand is leaving a coastal section than entering. Then the third one is the cross shore sand loss. It is about um, an active coast zone in cross shore direction can occur by different processes and for the climate change and sea level rise it will impact coastal erosion in different ways here the focus is on the sea level rise other potential impacts are related to changes in meteorological conditions like wind temperature and precipitation Now let's talk about the effects of coastal erosion. One of the effects of coastal erosion are the property damage. As you can see in the picture, it the houses are damaged and the land are wearing away. So it is due to the high winds, storm surge and flooding. So that is the effects when coastal erosion occur. The second effects of coastal erosion is the degradation of plants and animals habitat. So the freshwater wildlife are the most impacted by coastal erosion. As you can see in the picture, and the fish there was dead and its habitat losses due to coastal erosion and that is the primary threat to the survival of wildlife especially in the plants where where this is where we get our food right the water and the shelter so due to the coastal erosion it is fragmented and destructed and lastly the main causes of land loss are coastal erosion due to the inadequate sediment supply and sea level rise. And it is also caused by the tidal waves or the current strong waves. So the wearing away of land, the, remove, the removal of beach as you can see in the picture, it breaks apart, right? And there's a huge damage happen just to let you know there's a possible solution or mitigation in preventing coastal erosion and these are one of the common strategy for dealing with coastal erosion is simply by beach nourishment so it is the placing additional sand on a beach to serve as a buffer against erosion or to enhance the recreational value of the beach. Simple as that. Based on the research conducted, it is evident that new ways to prevent erosion includes by planting and by building seawalls and by making a sandbags and sand fences according to the preventive methods of beach erosion it is the study of robertson 2010 philippine settings some of coastal barangays of bilabalate tabango san isidro and kalubian are prone to mass movement while most of towns of Bye Bye City, Palo, Tulusa, Tananuan, Dulag, Mayorga, MacArthur, and Abayog are highly susceptible to coastal erosion. These are some examples of the coastal erosion. And this is the end of our presentation. I am Rizal Desara, together with my teammate Maria Angelica Doldolea, saying that we have a single mission to protect and hand on the planet to the next generation. Gracias, everyone. Have a good day. Thank you for listening. We hope that you have learned something. Gracias.
Thank you for listening. We hope that you have learned something. Gracias. Thank you for